in the previous video, uh, the author of that video went through kind of the interface. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take you through, and we're just going to model something really simply just to kind of get a feel for what it's like to, to model inside a Revit environment. So we're going to create a new file. And of course, we want that to be an architectural template. And we're going to say OK. And that's going to open us up a new file. Now, your organization of your interface may look a little different uh, than this. Uh, usually, Project Browser and Properties are on one side and stacked. I, I like them split like this with my workspace in between. Uh, I'll just show you kind of how to do that real quickly. Uh, I'm going to close both of those. And if you open it sometime and they're closed, they're not there, what you can do is go into View, okay, not Manage, but View, and you'll see User Interface here. Okay, so view, user interface, and then if you turn on Project Browser, the Project Browser will, pull, will turn on and uh, be located wherever it initially was. And the Properties Browser, uh, the same thing. And so there are there are other interface elements that you can turn on and off, um, but those are the two primary ones that sometimes they get turned off or, or you accidentally close them when you're trying to close a view or something. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, do two things. One is, is we're going to set up a few more levels for the design of the, this building that we're going to do and uh, to, to establish some Z depths uh, so that as we draw, we'll have those Z depths there for us to work with. And then we're also going to put in a topography surface that we're going to use to place our building on. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We can see right here we started out with level one, level two, and site. Those are default in the uh, generic template. You can create a new template that has a lot of uh, other elements in it uh, automatically if you want uh, when you open it, or you can just use that generic template. Uh, I will be giving you sometimes files that already have elements just, uh, modeled in them uh, to start with. So uh, let's go into an elevation. We'll just go into the north elevation. And you'll see the, t the default two levels, level one and level two, which are right here, level one and level two. And we want the floor uh, of our building to be at zero, zero. And, but we also want another level that is what we would call the top of the curb uh, on the site. And uh, that would be then with a topography uh, would initiate and so I'm just going to add uh, two more level a couple more levels in here and so we're going to go into architecture go to levels uh, we're going to stretch a level out here uh, we'll zoom in and this one we're going to call top of curve whoops well I want that anyway but there we go uh, top of curb okay uh, and then it says, do you want to rename it all the levels associated with it? And yes, we do. And we all we want this top of curve only to be a minus one foot below the finished floor. Okay, so we're going to do this a minus one foot. Uh, this level one, we're going to call the finished floor uh, first. F, F for first finished floor. Um, and then the interior uh, height of the space we want to be uh, 10 foot. So I'm going to, we're going to, this is going to be the uh, first uh, ceiling. So that's the first floor ceiling, and yes. And then we're going to want uh, the, a, a level that's the top of the uh, roof. So I'm just going to, once again, go architecture, level, and I'll just put a level in. Notice I don't worry about really where that level is. Uh, we'll, we'll worry about that later, okay? Um, so we're going to put first ceiling, and then we're going to put in here top of roof, top of roof. And then uh, I want this to be uh, 
say 15 feet above the ceiling to give us some room in there for mechanical and structure. So I'm going to reset that to 15 feet. And then I'm going to come in here and set this to uh, this, to what we call the top of the parapet. So top of parapet. Now, if you don't know what a parapet is, that's fine, because we're going to, I'm going to tell you what that is and show you what a parapet is, and we're even going to model uh, a parapet. Okay, so let's say that that's two feet above 15 feet, which would be 17 feet. And so there's our top of parapet. Once again, we'll use this little break here so that the text won't be all jumbled up in there together. Okay, so now we have levels that we can work with. And as we do this little quick model, you'll see uh, what we're going to do. Uh, the next thing we need to do is add a topography. And to do that, we're going to do that from the uh, site. Okay, uh, most modeling that has to do with the site is done from the site. And to do that, we're going to go uh, massing. And we're going to go add a topo surface. Okay. And uh, to do that topo surface, uh, we can bring in uh, topos from uh, DWG files in all kinds of ways, or we can just draw it. In this case, I want the surface to be flat, right? So uh, I'm, I'm just going to place a series of points. They're going to determine what that surface is. Uh, it's an absolute elevation. Let's see here. Uh, that should work. It's gonna it's gonna draw it on zero zero, which is the top of uh, the first finished floor, and then I'll have to move it down, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna put a line, a point here. That's one point of the elevation, another point of the elevation, another point, and another point. And I don't really worry about the shape of it uh, at this point. And I'm gonna say accept that, okay. And if I select it. We're going to see uh, its material is not set uh, in sight. Let's go. I'm going to have it selected and let's go into the north elevation. And and there it is right there. There's that surface. Uh, actually, I want it on the top of the curve. I want it, the finished floor of the building to be a foot above the topography. Uh, and that's uh, just a standard for, for to have adequate drainage away from the building. So I'm going to select that and do a move and move that down to the top of the curve. So now it's on the top of the curve. So we have our topo. Let's go. Uh, we need a 3D view so we could look at this at 3D. Uh, for some reason they don't put a default 3D view in there. So I'm going to go views and then 3D views, default 3D views. And then you can see there's my uh, Topo, uh, we'll turn on shaded so that we can see it shaded. Uh, and so there's my topo. You can see my levels right there, all my different levels. Okay. Uh, and so now we're ready to uh, model our building.